There's plenty to get into when it comes to the Hungarian Grand Prix fallout. Red Bull Racing with 12 straight victories now in Formula One. And of course, Max Verstappen still cruising away with the championship. And McLaren backing up that Silverstone weekend with another impressive outing for their two young drivers. But we're looking at Mercedes today as Lewis Hamilton is calling on the media to play detective for him. And we hear from Esteban Ocon and Alpine after another very frustrating weekend of racing. All that and more here on GP Fans. Remember gpfans.com and GP Fans Global across social media for all of the latest F1 news. And of course, hit subscribe down below to stick with us here at the channel. But let's get into the Monday headlines. Lewis Hamilton seems to disagree with Mercedes boss Toto Wolff as the team suffered highs and lows all weekend in Hungary. With one car out in Q1 and the other on pole position, the Grand Prix could have brought Mercedes almost anything, judging by their Saturday form and decision making. While the latter part of the race brought plenty of pace for the team, with Russell working his way through the field to finish sixth and Hamilton eventually finishing fourth, the seven-time world champion didn't appear to show the confidence in the car that his team principal had after Wolf called his vehicle the second fastest on the grid. We have a lot of work to do. We're a long way off beating Red Bull in a race and obviously now we're behind the McLarens. We've just got to keep pushing, Hamilton said to Sky Sports. The balance of the car was pretty awful on that first stint. A lot of understeer to snap oversteer through corners balance and I just couldn't keep up with them. So was Saturday a false dawn for the Silver Arrows or is it a case of heavy fuel loads ruining the Mercedes early race pace? Either way, Hamilton wants the media to play detective for him and Mercedes as he hopes the press will look into and investigate his rivals as the British driver this weekend to, began to ponder where Red Bull's DRS advantage has gone in recent weeks, with times in qualifying tighter than ever this season. We may have a look into it here at GP Fans, Lewis, if you ask very nicely. Esteban Ocon called his exit from a very brief appearance at the Hungarian Grand Prix this weekend sickening as he released his frustration on the 2023 campaign. Alpine seem to have taken a step backwards this year with Aston Martin and McLaren both leapfrogging the French constructor and the Hungarian Grand Prix marked a new low for the campaign with a second straight race weekend with a double DNF but this time after just a few laps. While the incident that took out both Pierre Gasly and Esteban Ocon wasn't either of the Alpine drivers' fault, it seemed to sum up a poor season so far for the team, at least in Ocon's eyes. It's a bit sad to see what happened. I've seen the footage again and it's just sickening, said the French driver, talking about the first corner incident. Looking at the bigger picture, he added, Things aren't working out for us. We need to put a stop to this series of events that's happening to us at the moment. We're not performing well enough. Elsewhere, Sergio Perez has talked about the pressure of being the number two to Max Verstappen at Red Bull in what could be seen as a message to Danny Ricciardo if the Australian is thinking about taking Perez's seat at the team. And Toto Wolff is still frustrated about George Russell in qualifying, calling other drivers selfish for ruining the young British driver's flying lap in Q1, even though it was the team who put him in that position. And that's what Russell said about it all, not our words, his. All that and more on gpfans.com and gpfansglobal, of course, across social media. And hit subscribe down below to stick with us here at the YouTube channel.